Hi guys, Dane here. Still very slightly sick, but I'm soldiering on. And today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Mockingjay, The Hunger Games Book 3 by Suzanne Collins. We do have a blurb on this one, so here we go. If we burn, you burn with us. Katniss Everdeen has survived The Hunger Games twice, but she's still not safe. A revolution is unfolding, and everyone, it seems, has had a hand in the carefully laid plans. Everyone except Katniss. And yet she must play the most vital part in the final battle. Katniss must become their Mockingjay, the symbol of rebellion, no matter what the personal cost. The mind-blowing conclusion to the Hunger Games trilogy. Fun fact, my other half, she's French, and instead of saying mind-blowing, she says head-exploding, which I think is a better way of putting it. So, I'm going to link below to my reviews of the first couple of books in the trilogy, and as always, I'm going to go through, check out my tabs, and see what I have to share with you. I thought this was pretty disturbing, so uh, Katniss ends up in... There's a massive spoiler, by the way. District 12 gets destroyed. So Katniss ends up kind of wandering through the rubble. And it says here, Running away from the square and to the one place the fire did not destroy. I passed the wreckage of the mayor's house, where my friend Madge lived. No word of her or her family. Were they evacuated to the capital because of her father's position, or left to the flames? Ashes billow up around me, and I pull the hem of my shirt up over my mouth. It's not wondering what I breathe in, but who that threatens to choke me. And just that idea that the dust that she's breathing in is the remnants of the bodies of the people she knew, you know? I thought this was interesting because Pete has been kind of portrayed as his talent is painting, basically. We have this a little bit. He's talking. He says he takes his time speaking. That last night, to tell you about that last night. Well, first of all, you have to imagine how it felt in the arena. It was like being an insect trapped under a bowl filled with steam and air. And all around you, jungle, green and alive and ticking. That giant clock ticking away your life. Every hour promising some new horror. You have to imagine that in the past two days, 16 people have died. Some of them defending you. At the rate things are going, the last eight will be dead by morning. Save one, the victor. And your plan is that it won't be you. My body breaks out in a sweat at the memory. My hand slides down to the screen and hang hangs limply at my side. Peter doesn't need a brush to paint images from the games. He works just as well in words. I just thought that was quite cool. Okay, hey, we have this bit as well where Katniss has been given a suicide capsule. And uh, she finds this place within her clothing where she can stash it. Bearing in mind the person who designed her clothes has now been murdered by the capital as well. I take hold of a capsule, unaware of where to put it. Plutarch taps a spot on my shoulder at the front of my left sleeve. I examine it and find a tiny pocket that both secures and conceals the pill. Even if my hands were tied, I could lean my head forward and bite it free. Sinner, it seems, has thought of everything. And so, like, Sinner kind of foresaw that she was going to need this as part of her clothing, you know? It's kind of messed up, but also just thought it was, again, pretty neat. This was uh, another nice little character insight as well, when uh, the bombers have hit this hospital where some survivors are kind of hiding in this hospital and then it's been bombed again. Oh no, I whisper as I catch sight of the hospital. What well, used to be the hospital. I move past the wounded, past the burning plane wrecks, fixated on the disaster ahead of me. People screaming, running about frantically, but unable to help. The bombs have collapsed the hospital reef and set the building on fire, effectively trapping the patients within. A group of rescuers has assembled, trying to clear a path to the inside. But I already know what they will find. If the crushing debris and the flames didn't get them, the smoke did. Gale's at my shoulder. The fact that he does nothing only confirms my suspicions. Miners don't abandon an accident until it's hopeless. And again, Gale being a miner, I thought that was just a nice little character insight for him there. There's a quote here from Finnick, which I think is great. He says, uh, better not to give into it. It takes 10 times as long to put yourself back together as it does to fall apart, which is pretty deep, especially for like a YA novel. Mind you, there's a lot of really deep stuff in this. So. We have here from Finnick. Finnick kind of explains one of the reasons why he hates the capital. He says, President Snow used to sell me my body. That is, Finnick begins in a flat, removed tone. I wasn't the only one. If a victor is considered desirable, the president gives them as a reward or allows people to buy them for an exorbitant amount of money. If you refuse, he kills someone you love. So you do it. Katniss has a moment where she says, When I wake, I wonder if this will be the only way I sleep now with drugs shot into my arm. Yeah, I know the feeling. Well, obviously I don't shoot drugs into my arm, but I know the feeling of not sleeping. I thought this was cool as well. Um, um, it says 13 was used to hardship, whereas in the capital, all they've known is Panem A. Circum says. Uh, what's that? I recognise Panem, of course, but the rest is nonsense. So Panem is the name of like the region, you know? 
It's a saying from thousands of years ago, written in a language called Latin about a place called Rome, he explains. Panem a circus says translates into bread and circuses. The writer was saying that in return for full bellies and entertainment, his people had given up their political responsibilities and therefore their power. I think about the capital, the excess of, the excess of food, and the ultimate entertainment, the Hunger Games. So that's what the districts are for, to provide the bread and circuses. Which I would really like that little explanation of, and even why the name Hunger Games is there, you know? We have this bit as well, uh, Pete has been kind of brainwashed by the capital in a way, and Katniss, she goes, uh, all those months of taking it for granted that Peter thought I was wonderful are over. Finally, he can see me for who I really am. Violent, distrustful, manipulative, deadly. And I hate him for it. And it, it's kind of f funny in a way that she's that self-aware of herself, though, you know? We have this bit as well where uh, Johanna's fighting off withdrawal sy symptoms from morphling. So basically, Johanna is a heroin addict who's coming clean, you know? And here we have as well um, hoarding, and uh, this hoarding's happening in the capital. The hoarding discussed the soldiers raising 13. Isn't this illegal? Says League One. On the contrary, in the capital you'd be considered stupid not to do it, says Masala. Even before the court of Quell, people were starting to stock up on scarce supplies. While others went without, says League One. Right, says Masala. That's how it works here. Which is a pretty good description of how, you know, the, the system works in these novels. Um, I don't want to say too much more about this. There is a little bit more towards the end, but I don't want to discuss like the final, final spoilers, really. And I think I've given you enough kind of background information on this to let you know kind of my thoughts on it, some of the little things that I read into it. Overall, I thought the third book was probably on a par with the second book, which is better than the movies, because I thought the third and then fourth movies, where they split it up, weren't as good as the first two. Um, but overall, the first book was by far the best. This one was another 3.75 out of 5. It was pretty good, worth reading, but I think definitely if you only read one of them, just read the first one and then, you know, decide from there. So there we have it. That's what I thought of The Hunger Games Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you've read it, hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.